Hello and welcome back my friends to Viking Conquest. We are playing of course as uh, Mr. Olaf. <clears throat> wow, that's a way to start with my throat all messed up. So last episode, last episode we did an unforgivable deed here in, uh, where is it again? Oh man, this land is so massive. Here in this uh, monastery. Um, we are not that good of a Catholic if, uh, if we are raiding monasteries, but that, I didn't think there was another way for me to easily obtain those, uh, that book. Now this episode we have been given the hideout location of Sven. And I think it is time that we go there and pay our tribute. Well, maybe I want to get some more troops first though. I am, uh, let's see if I can... Hire some men. Got a sailor, we got a host. Two guys feeding. Ah oh, well, guess there is uh, no one here to be recruited. Okay, let's go to uh, Sven's hideout. Uh, I'll wait until um, daytime. It's midnight, I'll not do a midnight raid. I'll just wait here. Dawn should be okay. Here we go. That's not true. It's late at night. No, no, it's dawn. It is dawn. You game. Seriously, dawn. Finally, thank you. On the banks of a river, you distinguish a Viking fort. You found the hideout of Sven. It's a good place for a small port for ships. Easy to defend. Behind the walls between the houses, you can see some warriors. You cannot count them. You cannot count them all without being seen, but you've seen there's a few dozen of them. In the middle of the fort you see some prisoners prepared for sale. Could your mother be along with them? Mm. Should we do a... Well, we'll just go for the total assault. Let's go, guys. Okay, everybody here. Everybody here. Don't, don't change the horses in there. Don't go. Let them come out. I don't expect... Why does the game say this is easy to defend? It's a lot, but not easy to defend. It has holes in them. Hmm. Here we go. Time for a different weapon. Uh, we'll just go for the back one. Oh. Or you, because you are with your back towards me, sir. Sir. Don't do that. No. Really? Seriously, are you hitting me? You know who I am? No? Well, the time will come once you remember the name Olaf. Yes, I will be going down as one of the great Viking kings. I think we're doing actually not bad. Thank you for showing me your back, sir. Do not attack my horses. I'm pretty proud of having a few. Okay, I'm trying to get like the the guys that are attacking like the single persons, like this one. Yeah, we'll probably lose a few, but hey, these are just mere normal guys. I uh, don't really care about them. They are my Viking brothers. That is true, but still, we have won, and we've lost six. Yes, victory! Yeah! Now please, let me get out of this! <laughs> Thank you. So we were victorious. Can I see how many I've killed? That's always something that's cool. I can't. I wish they added that. So, after a tough battle, your man have defeated the Vikings, protecting the hideout. In one of those houses, you'll find three prisoners, two women and one man. The women are unknown to you, perhaps prisoners from another viking raid. But the man is Bodo. Um, he is the Kentribian who travelled with you aboard the Woden, Vi uh, Woden Rick. Bodo joins your party, an old friend is back. He asks you to walk away with him. He wants to tell you what happened after Sven Bulnak attacked the Wooden Rick. But first, you need to decide what to do with Sven's hideout. 
No, we're definitely going to keep it. I have things to tell you. Listen carefully. Tell me what happened since the wooden rig was attacked by Sven Bulnek. Sir, I should have been dead. But I still live while others who should be alive are dead. I came to consider the ship that brought me north, the wooden rig, as a home. With its crew as my family. So when the Vikings attacked, I grabbed my sword and shield and prepared to defend them to the death. The, Cantre the Cantrebians are Christians, but some of us are still some of us still remember the old gods. One in particular, Erudino. Sounds more like a dinosaur's name, though. Uh, guides us in battle, and I shouted his name while attacking with my sword. I'm not an idiot. I knew the battle was lost. We were outnumbered, and they were better armed. But I asked. Erudino, I'll probably I'm mispronouncing this all the time. You can try to correct me in the in like How do you correct like an infant? That is how you should correct me But just don't patronize me. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm Dutch To tell me uh, To tell me kill as many as possible before my trip to paradise I hope my sacrifice would allow the others to flee or cause fear amongst the Vikings, but these Vikings were hardened men who knew their job well. Half a dozen of them surrounded me and beated me while their companions invaded the wooden rig and killed who, whomever stood in their way. I saw everyone down, the captain, the sailors, the archers that were protecting the boat and I thought I myself was dead until I woke up in the Viking ship, tied hand and foot. I was a prisoner, but thank God I escaped. This is like contradicting yourself. Like I was fighting for, uh, I was fighting, and I didn't care if I died. But now he's thanking God, he escaped. Shouldn't he be thanking like a a Norish God, like thank Odin? Oh well. Um, now I am a miserable man before. Erudino, I should be dead and others alive. Now I live for redemption. Did anyone else survive the Viking attack? I know you really want to ask if your mother is still alive and where she is. Well, I have not told you everything. I need you to stay calm and listen to me carefully. I'll try that because it's a lot of reading here. I'm not sure I want to hear what you are going to say. Well, what? What? Why? I understand, my friend, but you must know everything. He puts his hand on your shoulder and smiled sadly. Sven Bullneck didn't end up there by chance. Our boat was his goal, and we had a traitor on board. What are you saying? What purpose? What traitor? No, I could care less about what you have to sell or what happened to... Well, let's go for the first one. He steps back, takes a deep breath and looks you in the eyes. What happened was my fault, Olaf. I was Van Bulnick's target, so we were attacked, and so on. I commanded my soul to Erudino, for I was willing to die, but the Vikings wanted me alive. Therefore, it was I who brought death to my family on that boat. My redemption is that Bulnick die, will die at my hands. So you were a traitor, no? You know what? I'm not. I'm. I'm going to say. I'm. I'm going to be playing the forgiving guy. <coughs> Sorry. I'll take a sip. Oh man. Uh, I understand what happened was caused by you, but it is not your fault. At least we'll get some relationship with that guy. Thank you for your trust. I hope it will be worth worthy of it. <coughs> Oh, I'm so sorry if that's going to annoy you. Not sure what ha is, is happening. I just woke up. I was stupid. I believed that the wooden rig was safe, but I was wrong. I was betrayed by its captain. The poor man thought that Sven Bulnek would give him wealth. He was cheated. For when the Vikings raided the wooden rig, he was killed. Maybe that is the real reason why we stopped among those shipwrecks. Yeah, it was kind of strange. Why stop at shipwrecks? There's shipwrecks. That's 
They don't uh, sail out of port as a shipwreck. The wooden rig captain betrayed me. Indeed, all of us. But I do not mis uh, bejudge him that. He was just an idiot. And that cost him his life. Yeah, yeah. And not only his. So I am going to begrudge him that. He's lucky to be dead because I would have killed myself. I would have killed him myself. I hate traitors. Little can be done in this regard. Your mother is alive. When I awoke, a prisoner on Sven Bulnik's ship, your mother was next to me. We were the only survivors, or so I thought, until we came, until you came to my rescue today. Your mother thinks you're dead, my friend. I was Sven Bulnik's star. You have said this a hundred times already. We know now, okay? Don't don't rub into, don't rub soul into wounds. As I had something very important in my hand, something so important that his lord, Sigmund, would kill for it. However, I myself did something terrible before the Vikings assaulted. Something I regret. What did you do? I gave it to your mother. Yeah, here you go. To your mother. I thought that it was safer for her in her hands than in mine. Before you take any fatal actions against me in justified anger, you should know that it saved her life because the Vikings thought she was my master. Do you understand? If not for the object, she probably would have been dead right now. Like the rest of the people of the wooden rig, your mother, your mother's disease helped too because the Vikings think that madness is a touch of the god. Sven took your mother north with him and left me to my faith here, to be sold as a slave because he thought he she was my master and the object carrier. Uh, we must hurry, because when Sven Bulnuk discovers the truth, he will kill her. Um, why are you so important? Yeah, you gave me some experience. That's not important. I just asked you. I saved your life. Give me... What the fuck, man? Uh, it's not important, but I will tell you that I am not a common traveler. I was sent by the king of... Oh, finally, someone sent by the king. <laughs> finally. And that I brought with me as a gift could change the course of the war. We'll talk about this later, but it's urgent now to find your mother. Sven Bullneck was summoned by his lord, Sigmund. Sigmund wants his wants this object badly. He will interrogate your mother about it because he thinks he has the information he needs. We must find Sigmund soon. Faith is written with blood and steel, and my reputation of my redemption <laughs> weaves through them both. Okay, so he's going to be joining the party, it seems. Give me a few moments. Fine. Faith is playing with you. First, everything was pointing to your mother's... Everything was pointing to your mother's death. You were driven partly by the need to survive, but mainly by revenge. Find Sven Bullneck and kill him. But now that your mother is still alive and in the hands of your enemy, your priority is to find and rescue her. Of course it is. So people are ready to upgrade. We actually... I, Yeah, we didn't lose that many. Um... Do we have some Nord companions? Huh. Oh, I'll just make a few then. Uh, Bodo. Bodo, you are a tactician. Uh, we should definitely get all the guys on the horses as well. You're my healer. I want you down there. We have leveled up as well. So, attribute and skills. No skill points. We have two. Um, what to go for? Um, you know... A Ludin would definitely be nice, but I think I'll go for riding. I want to get myself a horse at some point because uh, being on foot's nice, but being fast was even nicer. Uh, we got one-handed swords at the moment, so I'll spec in my points in that. Um, okay, cool, cool. But now what? Uh, let's go back to ride. Then. Oh wait. As you stop to rest on the way, your companions approach you, led by Bruno. See something to say. Okay. My lord Sven's hideout was a dangerous place, but we managed to ransom... Ransom Brodo. We didn't ransom Brodo. We attacked the bloody camp. Uh, what? Where were you during that fight? Slipping? 
Oh man. I understand that you want to find your mother, but let me tell you, when I was in the court of the Jarl of Kenrith, I heard horrible things about Sigmund. Sigmund was in the Meat Hall of the Jarl on more than one occasion. He is not just any man, my lord. You know that the Jarl is a hard man, but he trembled before Sigmund. Sigmund doesn't say a lot, he never smiles. But the snake eyes burrow into you as he is trying to reach your thoughts. I thought I was but a slave, but I heard things. People say that he is the most dangerous of sons of Ragnar, Ragnar a man who would kill you just for curling, coughing near. Oh my god, I shouldn't be next to that guy. I would have been lying dead on the floor already. Uh, the beautiful is right. Oh my god, you're fancying her, aren't you? For what I know, Sigmund is the kind of man that one should avoid. Unfortunately, he blocks our way. I don't believe it's so bad. My god, is there so much reading in this? By the end of this, I should be like master in English. I don't believe it's so bad. I can trust the Jarl of Kimbra, but uh, since he is an accomplished actor who used every possible tool to try to manipulate others. If he saw an advantage in passing as Timbit before Sigmund, he would have done that. I would be very careful with him, as he is a man who smiles when, you're f when you face him and stabs you with a dagger when you turn. With Sigmund at least you know where he's coming from. Renegade's talking without knowing him. I've heard things and seen things. Maybe Renegade was too busy drinking or betraying someone. Sigmund is... Okay, you know what? I think I, I, I will not be protecting this guy in a month. Um, you have the gall woman to call me a drunken traitor to my face. You know nothing about me. What's your words? And you will... You know what? You are you are a traitor. You are no denying it. Can you give me? Yeah. Holy crap! That just did a lot of damage to my reputation. He's even not even happy with me. Uh, we are at a crossroad. Sigmund has what we need and your mother's life is in danger. In my opinion, we should go and talk to him, even if it costs us our life. We have no choice. Uh, what purpose does the king to hate him? Sigmund would be stupid to go to avoid the king. Uh, wow. My god, I had this full episode. Um... I think we should protect the supporter king. I believe as well that we should do that. Uh, I'll just, if you want to read, I, I can't read it, everything because I will end up like hours and hours of reading. What the fuck's this? While your party rests to recover from the fatigue on the road, you take the advantage to get away a bit from the camp and you have some privacy as you Oh, we are being attacked. Cool. A stranger shout quickly back to the camp, you're in danger! Who the fuck are you? An attacker yells, who are you woman? Anyway, you're too late. Olaf the Jarl of Kenner wants your hat. You were a fool to walk away from the camp and didn't let me finish my reading. Okay. I got no clue where they're coming from. No clue, and it's kind of dark in here. Where is that woman? Oh wait, that's some fighting. Do 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 don't don't kill the woman, please. Well, at least she was knocked on conscience. Well, we now know a location of where those bloody attackers are from. There you go. Any more? Wow, an archer! You don't see them a lot! Yeah, it's a tough life. My axe is always around your neck. Uh, come on, any more? Oh, it's getting dark. Wait, what? 
But this is no. This is kind of weird though. Well, she starts good. Hail, handsome. We've been watching you for a while. Who are you and why are you watching me? Calm down, handsome. It is wiser to be grateful. But allow me to introduce myself. My name is something I'm unable to pronounce. I'm just not any woman. I am. As you don't know there or oh, something. By your face, I've seen. I see you do not know what I'm talking about. But I must admit, uh, uh, but that there not many like me, and there's even less than in my own land. Oh, she's from. Okay. Uh, it's a virgin who takes the way of the weapons poetry. Okay, cool. Got ourselves a virgin, guys. Uh, the main thing is that you. That I have followed and studied you in the past few days. I will join you now. You have a great future ahead. In my intuition serves me well. Uh, I want to share in your luck. Um, I do not like when people are following me. Thanks. I think I owe you my life. Yeah, let's just be reasonable with her. Um, they were but fools. They had been following you for days and they have 100 better opportunities. However, any chosen time would have been a failure because I was ready to rescue you. Oh my god, you're cocky. So, I, you wish to join me? Of course, bloody go around please. Can't value that too much, it's harsh, harsh world. Oh my god, it's so much reading guys. And if I don't, I've no clue what f everything's going on for. Oh. Good, give me a few moments to and I will be ready to move. Great. Great. So, she's still wounded. Um, let me talk to you about your skill. I want to know what, what it is that you do. First aid. So, she can be a second healer. High charisma, high leadership, high persuasion. Holy shit. She's a good talker. I do like that. Yeah, I'm happy that I brought her. And I'm, I'm not sure about her. But if she and Bodo are, are grouping up, then I think eventually uh, Renegade will leave. Um, okay, let's let's go over the quest. Um, I advise you to first go to the animal yard. We'll probably go to this guy. The king Kingdom of Denmark. He's the Lord of Ripe. We're already there. Amazing. Maybe we can finally find a friend. Uh, what else? Notes on freeze. Don't have anything in there. Okay. Well, it's been great. Guys, I know. I know. There's just not much going on in this episode. Because there's so many dialogues. I think they're really important. But we got ourselves a refugee, a refuge now. Hopefully we can get on a good relationship with the king and get the right to recruit men. We'll, uh, we'll probably, I'm hoping I can find, make some money finally. And um, we'll, we'll make ourselves an army and, and, and I'm really hoping that we can finally, finally stop with the bloody dialogues and start some attacking. As for now, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to push that like button and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.